Just a quick reminder, this blog update is best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been roughly one month since my last posted my review that was on Real Tournament 3. Or two weeks if you're counting the finale of my Let's Play of Freedom Fighters for the PC. Well, allow me to explain as to the reason why content for this channel has been completely dry. December and January has been pretty darn busy and stressful. Over the past couple of months, my golden retriever Rosie was limping a lot. We have decided to take her to our vet for an x-ray. It turned out that my dog had a cruciate ligament. Basically, we had to wait until December for her to have surgery. The pet hospital was in Sterling, and the drive was several hours for her to be dropped off and going back there three days later to pick her up. After this, in order for the surgery to completely succeed, we needed to keep a very close eye on her. If Rosie were to do certain things, like climbing up objects, for example, stairs, a crucial ligament were to go out of alignment once again, therefore all of this trouble would have been for absolutely nothing. To top it all off, we discovered a lump on one of her hind legs. She had to go off for yet another surgical procedure to remove the lump and to get an idea what was causing that lump. It turned out it was caused by a mast cell. Basically a mast cell is a form of cancer. Obviously because we caught the problem early, my dog is to be just fine. Before the results came out, I was at my lowest point mentally I have done since my university course. Finally, in January, we, my dog needed to go back to Sterling for the final time for an x-ray to ensure that the operation she received was successful. It turned out the operation was a massive success. But hey, I'm going back to doing reviews as normal, and oh boy, do I have a treat for you. This week coming, two games will be released. For fighting game enthusiasts, the 15th entry of SNK's highly popular King of Fighters series is due to be released on Thursday. On the other hand, for the, on the exact same day, for the PC gaming enthusiasts, the third entry of Creative Assembly's highly successful turn-based slash real-time strategy hybrid Total War Warhammer 3 is also due to be releasing that day. In terms of which one of these highly successful games I will give you guys the power to decide on which one of the two releases will be reviewed on their launch week. So, as this blog update is going to be uploaded to YouTube, the poll will be officially be opening. So, and the poll will close midnight on Wednesday. So, get voting guys! So, um... Okay, I have covered more or less the topics I wanted to cover in this blog update, so it's best for me to sign out. This is Bond Commander 1990, Chief Editor of Disabled Gaming Reviews, signing out. Thank you.